Hello my beautiful and handsome friends welcome again to my youtube channel and in this video tutorial we'll talk about the structure of gene especially in case of prokaryotic organisms so first of all about the gene it is a piece of dna that is responsible to produce a particular protein that give rise to a specific phenotypic character in an organism so a piece or a sequence of dna is termed as the gene now gene consists of the two regions regulatory region and the structural region so regulatory region as its name suggests regulatory region helps to maintain or regulate the expression of the gene it ensures when to make protein and when not to make protein so it helps to regulate the formation of the protein molecules inside the cell structural region is the region which encodes for a specific protein under the action of regulatory region regulatory region basically lies upstream of the structural region so basically we denote a protein from 5 prime region to 3 prime region you can say that that regulatory region lies towards the 5 prime region or upstream of the structural region basically regulatory elements are of two types cis regulatory elements and the trans regulatory element cis regulatory element as their name suggest cis means these genes are found in the vicinity of the gene means you will get cis regulatory elements uh, in the vicinity of your gene like we have promoters operators in case of our prokaryotic organism whenever we talk about any operon we basically discuss about the promoter and operator like we have silencers activators enhancers they termed as the cis regulatory elements why because they helps in regulation of the gene so uh, this is the very quite bit simple structure regarding cis regulatory elements like we have a promoter besides of the gene that helps in the uh, transcription of the gene like these uh, cis regulatory elements somehow help the gene or maintain the gene expression by touching the gene as such so trans regulatory elements these are the elements which can move from one cell to another cell so these are diffusible proteins or factors which regulate the expression of gene like let's say a gene present on the chromosome number 6 is maintaining the expression of the gene present on chromosome number 11 like you can say that this protein has been formed from the gene present on chromosome number 6 and this protein is managing or maintaining the expression of the gene present on the chromosome number 11 so this sort of elements are known as the trans regulatory elements like uh, all the transcription factors are the trans regulatory elements why because they are coming from somewhere else inside of the cell means uh, uh, lots of types of genes are in the cell uh, in the nucleus of the cells which are forming these particular proteins and they are going to maintain the expression of the gene located somewhere else or some uh, some uh, or on some another chromosomes inside the cell and uh, structural region this is the region which encodes for a particular protein molecule under the ex, uh, under the regulation of a regulatory elements that may be cis regulatory elements or it may be trans regulatory elements so the form protein product always plays structural role inside the cell except a uh, trans regulatory elements so except trans regulatory elements all the coding genes are termed as the structural regions of the gene if you understand hope you understand my lecture and thank you